A few years ago, a friend of mine in Caliente, Nevada, invited me to go along with her and a group of her family and friends on a trip into the mountains and over to State Line, Utah. Caliente is about three hours from Las Vegas, so I, I drove up the day before as I wanted to take a drive down Rainbow Canyon, which is just this beautiful road between Caliente and Elgin. It was early November, and the cottonwoods along the road were in full autumn colors. After driving down to Elgin and back, I drove out to nearby Cathedral Gorge State Park. This is one of Nevada's biggest hidden gems, with slot canyons and beautiful rock formations. You know, I've been there quite a few times. I've never seen much of a crowd there. Here are a few of the photos I took. You know, I'll probably make a video of my trips there sometime in the future. Early the next morning, I met my friend Lynn and her group of family and friends, and we headed out to an area outside of Pioche, where we unloaded ATVs and moved up into the hills. Our first stop was at Hackett's Ranch. Here's a couple photos from there, but I made a full video of this ranch, and I will include a link in the description. Moving up the mountain in our ATVs, we were treated with beautiful scenery on our way into Utah. The road would be attainable in my Jeep, but the ATVs are the best way to go with this narrow and rocky trails. And it saves the uh, desert pinstriping on my Jeep. As we move down out of the mountains to the canyon below, we're in view of the Ophir Mine Mill. Unfortunately, a wildfire burned this old mill down in 2020. Only the machinery exists at this time. I was fortunate to have been able to walk through this mill with so much machinery still intact. Though small mine mining started in 1894, it was not until 1896 that rich silver and gold ore was found in the shallow workings of the Ophir mine. Everybody's walking toward the dead road On a place in a foreign world Tad away isn't broken like a starlet I am drunk but I made for I was made to fall in love with you I was made to fall in love with you State Line was a town that was only a mile-long stretch of stone and false front buildings, some of which are still standing. At one time, the town had two or three General stores, a nice hotel, two saloons, blacksmith shop, shoemaker, restaurant, and a daily stage to Modena on the railroad, which is only 16 miles away. I wish they'd a video on Modena. The population was 118 in 1900, and it peaked around 1903 with about 200, 300 people living there. Unfortunately, ore values dropped in 1905, and most of the miners moved on. There were only 35 people in the state line pre in 1910. You know, it was a great trip seeing so much history and beauty and enjoying the company of some really nice folks. I would appreciate it if you like these sort of videos. Please hit the subscribe button to encourage me to make more. Thanks for watching.